What's up guys? Uh, this is Travis with MyBringBack.com and what we're going to do today is, well, we're going to get that splash activity working. And before we do that, I just want to kind of talk about the layout of how an activity work works, what an activity is, kind of boring stuff. But basically on a phone, every time uh, you start up a new page, um, most likely you're starting up a new activity. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a, the very general definition of it. But you can use your back button on your phone to, to go back to the previous activity that you started. Just think of it as like different tabs on your window browser. Like for example, if I open a new tab here, that's starting a new activity. And then we can go back to this activity if we want. But now, um, this is the Android developer page and this kind of is the layout of what an activity does, what methods it calls and how it calls those methods, which orders and such. So as you can see before, this class main extends the activity class so we can use some of those methods from the activity class. And we have the onStart method, which will set up our content view. Um, so basically, now I'm just going to quickly walk through these and why this is important to know uh, the layout of how the activity works. Basically, what's going to happen is when you open up an activity, it's going to call the onCreate method first. So you might want to load some images, some graphics, uh, you know, set your backgrounds, just like we did in our main activity. And then it's going to go call the onStart method, so you can put some other stuff in there if you'd like. Um, generally, I put it all in the onCreate. Um, and then it's going to also go through the onResume before your activity starts running. So it's going to call those three methods. Those can be setup methods, resume methods, anything um, you want to do within those, it's going to call those three before your activity activity actually starts. And then like if a new activity, let's say your activity is running, you hit a button and it opens up a, a different page or a different activity, it's going to put that previous activity that was just running on a pause and, and then on stop and uh, Basically, so also this happens when you get a text message or a phone call. It'll put your activity on pause. So, example, if you're playing, making a game app and uh, your phone dies, or like you know you get a call or a text message, you can save all that data within the on pause method, so the person won't lose track of where they were. Um, and uh, and then once you call that activity to start again, it's just going to go through the on resume if it was on pause. Uh, and then like you know these are like on stop and on destroy before your activity uh, kills itself basically uh, if your activity is on a pause and it waits too long um, or it's not visible as it says here it's gonna go on pause and then if your phone needs more memory or um, you know other applications need more memory it's gonna kill the kill the activity so again it's kinda smart to do all your saving within this on pause method uh, that's that's the idea I want you guys to get, and I'll put this link in the t the description so you guys can check this out and uh, just kind of browse through it. But the most important ones are the on create, on resume, and on pause because you know if our activity does kill itself, it's gonna go through the on pause anyways. So now let's go back um, into our uh, our project here, and basically what we want this activity to do is just load up our splash screen as you can see I have the splash background here uh, for five seconds and then basically kill itself and open up a new activity um, so the way we're gonna do that is well first we're gonna set up our new activity that we want it to open and so you're gonna go into your package and right click and just hit new class and we're gonna say this is a menu class because it's gonna be a menu with buttons all that good stuff. Just type menu and hit enter or finish, whatever you want to do. And again, we want this to be an activity so we can use those uh, those methods that I just kind of went through. So how you do that is just extends activity. And then we're going to have to import the activity. So hover over and just hit import activity. Or if you want to do it manually, you can just type import android.app.activity again that's pulling from this Android 2.2 extension that we put in um, and then we're just gonna hit uh, basically right click again go down to source override implemented methods again here are some of the ones that we can use so I'm just gonna hit on create the bundle um, 
you're familiar with that one we kind of went through that and then just the on pause and hit OK and then there's our two activities or our methods and on the on create we want to set up our background for the menu so we're gonna say set content view and then within parentheses we're gonna hit r dot layout dot uh, main because that's the one that's gonna hold our buttons as the main XML and uh, and yeah so I mean you guys will get really familiar with this set content view and these little methods right here or this little descriptor just r dot layout dot main and we'll, we'll kind of go through that later but uh, yeah it's it's pretty simple I mean obviously you don't know what if you don't know any Java you don't know what like you know exactly what's happening but you can set up your background so that's cool so now that we have our um, menu activity set up the only th other thing we need to need to do is kind of define a reference for the Android manifest to know that activity exists so we're gonna open up the manifest and um, basically what we're gonna do is you can see within our application this is where we're gonna keep all of our activities here's the main activity which is actually our splash activity if you want to think of it that way and again I talked through um, what's, what the launcher and what the main does and all that good, cool stuff so I'll kind of talk through that again here, but we're just going to copy from this activity bracket down to this at the close activity, and we're just going to hit um, right below that line, still within the application, just uh, Control V, and basically the Android name. That's what our class name is going to be. So we need to call this menu uh, the exact same as what we labeled our class name over here. Uh, the the label that's not too important. Um, but uh, these are the two that are we're gonna change first of all like I said we don't want two launchers so we're gonna change this to a default so the category name is gonna be default and also we don't want this to be the same because it's gonna look for this is his action name basically so this is how we're gonna refer to it in in, um, in Java and we'll get to that in a second but what we want to do is label it uh, just basically your package my bring back dot the basics and then dot and we're going to put all uppercase you can put whatever you want that uh, you guys will get familiar with I'm just going to call this splash so this is kind of our descri description name and how we're going to refer to it in Java and now we have the manifest um, kind of knowing that this class exists and we can use it. Um, so now we're going to go back to our main one, um, our main class, um, which will again be our splash activity. Probably should have labeled that as splash when we set this up. But uh, what we want to do is, let's see here, within our onCreate, uh, basically we're just going to set up a thread. Um, and I'll kind of show you that we aren't going to get too uh, descriptive with the thread but uh, what we need to do is kind of set up that variable just like we set up some integers and like I don't know if I actually went through that or not since I've been doing some Java tutorials as well but basically you need to find your your uh, variable and you do that by saying what you want the variable to be and then labeling it so we're gonna label this uh, timer or logo timer and then we're going to set this equal to um, again new thread and this again I'm not going to describe exactly what's going on right now but uh, just get you kind of set up here so and we'll, we'll get into the the details of what this new means and the thread means and all that other stuff if you guys want to get a jump start you can also check out my uh, my Java tutorials on my bring back but we're gonna hit new thread and then open bracket hit hit enter and uh, here's your close bracket and we're just gonna go down to this close bracket real quick and put our semicolon um, so there we go we kinda set it up it's a new thread of some sort and within here is where we're gonna create uh, some methods and I'm gonna do that in the next tutorial just cuz of time but uh, yeah, this is kind of the basic layup of setting up our thread, and you guys need to watch the next tutorial for this to actually, actually work. So see you guys then. Thanks for watching, and see you soon. Peace.